this is Owen Thornton, and this is my V-blog that goes with my Word blog at Ontario Crafts, all one word, dot WordPress dot com. Today I'd like to talk to you about a really exciting place at 1347 Kelly Lake Road in Sudbury, Ontario. The location is Crosscut Distilleries, and it is owned by Shane Proden. I think that's the way you say it, Shane. Sorry if I got it wrong. Um, so... Let me tell you a little story about uh, how I ended up being at a distillery in Siberia, Ontario. My wife has an annual conference, which over the course of the last two years, because of COVID-19 protocols, we haven't been at. However, uh, this year we found ourselves going to, uh, in 2019, we found ourselves going to Sudbury, Ontario. And I knew that Crosscut was there, along with a couple of breweries that were nearby as well, on, this, on Kelly Lake Road. So, uh, when I'm at conference with Carrie, and she's obviously going to lectures all day long, uh, I'm left to my own devices. There is an informal spellzer program, which is uh, very well operated and, and run by uh, the people who are also uh, spouses of the people who live in the city where the event is being hosted. So they arrange for different sorts of trips or give you options for different kinds of things you can do. You can opt in, you can opt out, you can do your own thing. So usually I do a bit of a combination of both, but one day I'm always going to try to find my way to a local brewery, distillery, cidery, or winery if I can. And so on this day, I decided I was going to hoof it all the way to uh, 1347 Kelly Lake Road to Crosscut. It was a fairly long journey. And it was really nice. Um, we had been coming from uh, another event in the evening. We had been coming from a dinner, and we went right past the distillery, so I had a really good sense of where it was. But the funny thing is, is that when you're walking in, as opposed to taking the bus back uh, from the, with the group, um, the walk was much longer than anticipated. So I also knew that there was uh, a couple of breweries nearby. One only sold growlers. And, of course, um, I'm in a car with... Uh, Three other participants, one of them including my wife, and I'm thinking like, how am I going to get a growler home? And what if I, you know, buy a, a growler sight unseen and and uh, don't like it? And uh, you pay for the growler in, in, in advance uh, to get your money back when you bring your growler back. And of course, I'm not going back, so that was complicated. But I also knew that uh, there was a brewery across the street from Crosscut, and I was going to be going there as well. So one of the things that curtailed my shopping experience at Crosscut was the fact that I knew I was going to have a bag full of, uh, uh, hopefully, gin and vodka, and a bag full of beer on one hand, and uh, plastic bags cutting through my hands uh, on a very, very nice long walk home. Uh, I don't know why I don't think of taking a cab. Maybe I'm just cheap. I don't know. Um, but I think in my head, I, I was a walk experience, and so that's what I was going to do. And uh, so therefore, my purchases were probably limited basically on weight requirements more than anything else. I went into Crosscut. It was a, it was, uh, there was an, it was a beautiful sunny day late in May, and uh, the, door was, the doorway was open. So I just walked right in. There was an individual there who was uh, going to be able to serve me a flight of tastings. And uh, she was very pleasant, very kind, and a very knowledgeable individual. There were a number of different kinds of gins. And I think uh, Crosscut, uh, as I see it, and as I see their website, and as I remember my experience there, I believe Crosscut is always doing um, some experimental work. So uh, they had a couple experimental vodkas, and they had uh, maybe like an experimental gin as well. And so I put these things together in a flight of what was available. Whenever you go there, there are they, Crosscut now does have uh, whiskey, uh, which the, I saw that was out right uh, when I went on the website when I wrote the blog uh, a few months ago. I'm assuming that that's probably back in stock now. Uh, but what I'm saying is, is that they have seasonal products. They have these one-off products. So whenever you go, you will have the opportunity to experience their mainline gin, their mainline vodka, um, their whiskey and a series of other products that either are seasonal or a one-off product where they're testing in their market share uh, with people who come in and see what they think of the product. So it's an experimental place as well and it's very nice. It was a warm and budding place. There was a nice bar. There was lots of stuff in, in behind to look at. Uh, if you go to the uh, web blog, go take a picture, look at a picture there. I'll, I'll try to post what picture over here uh, so you can see a little bit of behind the bar there. Um, and I'm going to hold up a couple of the bottles in just a second as well to kind of give you a little bit of a uh, show-and-tell aspect of this uh, conversation today. 
So anyways, I was there and I selected my five uh, drinks and uh, you get very small tastings when you're tasting alcohol. It is 40% alcohol by volume. It's not like a wine tasting. It's not like a, a beer tasting. Uh, these are uh, very small sippers. And as I'm sitting there and I'm having one, uh, this gentleman walks by and I just ask him a question. I, maybe he asked me a question and we started talking and I realized afterwards that I was talking to the owner of the place. Uh, so, in, so as I'm facing the bar, behind me are the, the uh, stills that are active and uh, he's there working and he's having a chance to talk to me. Um, since then, um, I, I went there in 2019. The web blog wasn't even a, uh, a, a thought of my mind at the time, so I didn't take my camera. And of course, if I'd taken my camera, it would have been one more thing to carry with all the things I hope to take back to the conference center that day. So I didn't have a camera with me, so Crosscut, I contacted Crosscut, I contacted Shane, and he sent some photographs to help make the blog page look a little bit better, and I appreciate that very much. I don't always get uh, those kinds of uh, positive responses and quick responses like I did with Shane, and I appreciate that very much. So anyways, Shane and I had this great conversation about, uh, about his gin and about his vodkas as I'm sort of testing them as we go along, and it was a really nice experience. Recently, um, we ran out of um, their vodka and their gin and we decided we wanted to get more and we were going to go online uh, to order more. And uh, just to get you uh, just a quick um, thing here, and I should have had these ready for you. It's rather than show you my butt. But anyways, on his website, on Shane's website, uh, were two great books about uh, uh, Canadian spirits. This one and this one. And you can see, obviously, I bought them from him, and then I bought his gin and his vodka. I should tell you about his gin a little bit. Um, it has uh, notes of anisette to it, and the number of gins that I've had in the past, I've had a little bit of that um, uh, licorice kind of taste to it, and I really like that. Uh, it's subtle with his, but it's very nice, and it's great with gin and tonic. That's the way I drink most of my gins. Um, I'm not uh, so dedicated of a gin drinker that I would drink it on its own. Maybe there's one or two that might that might happen to. I don't rule that out, but I'm a G&T guy, and that's the way I like to enjoy my gins, and I do very much enjoy it. So here is his bottle here, so you can see what you're looking for. Um, this is available, uh, at, obviously, at Crosscut, and in Sudbury, there are a number of uh, local major retailers where you can procure uh, a bottle of this gin. Um, but it is only in the exact region around uh, Crosscut uh, that you can uh, procure this or at the actual location itself. And uh, I really like the gin very much. Obviously, I, I uh, ordered a bottle online. And uh, I want to tell you my uh, Crosscut vodka story. So um, I don't drink a lot of vodka and I don't uh, drink vodka straight. I know that some people, aficionados, really do that. And I love the, I love the Crosscut on the bottle. I love the, I love the way this looks here. Um, I don't drink my vodka straight. I usually uh, consume vodka in a Black Russian. And Shane, if you uh, are appalled at the fact that I used your vodka in a Black Russian, I apologize, but I have a, a good story for you. Um, I don't, uh, I would ordinarily have just one Black Russian. And uh, um, on this day, I finished off uh, a, a major line, low priced, uh, vodka bottle uh, with my Black Russians. My Black Russians are usually two-thirds vodka, one-third Kahlua, and uh, um, that's the way I like it with some ice. And I had one, and I thought, gee, that tastes really good. I'm going to have another one, and I realized I didn't have any more vodka of the sort of major online base-priced vodka, and I picked up my bottle of Crosscut and put it in. And I'm telling you, uh, I, I would not have imagined that if you had done a taste test between sort of this, uh, uh, as I said, mass-produced, uh, major producer of vodka and the Crosscut one, uh, I could not have told you, could, would not have believed that how much smoother, how much nicer, how much uh, gentler uh, and tastier the drink was with the Crosscut vodka than it was with the major uh, um, vodka uh, that I that I had from uh, the larger major retailers that you can find. And I was really astounded by the, that. The, both the gin and the vodka, I would say that if you're in the uh, $27, $28 for a 750 ml bottle uh, as a base price vodka, um, uh, Crosscut uh, products are 
uh, upper middle. I would say if, if top end is around the $50, $50 mark, Henderson uh, or uh, Hendricks is now uh, uh, a little bit above that. Uh, um, and uh, some other uh, gins are a little bit above the $50 price point. So uh, Crosscut is just below that around the $42.95 price point. So uh, higher, higher upper ends um, price point. Uh, but really wonderful, really great tasting gin, really great tasting vodka. I encourage you that if you go to Sudbury uh, to either go to the local major uh, retail establishments there and get um, a bottle or to go to Crosscut and have an experience and have a tasting. As I said, your tasting will be unique. Uh, there'll be seasonal products there and there'll be one-off experimental products that you'll have an opportunity to try as well. And I know you're going to have a great time. I want to thank Shane very much again for the photographs. We're going to put that photograph uh, of uh, the bar up. Uh, I never got it right over here. And uh, um, uh, you've seen the bottles yourselves. I want to thank you all very much. Again, don't forget to go to, if you want to read the full story, go to uh, Ontario Crafts, all one word, dot wordpress.com, and you can read the article there. Thanks very much. You have a terrific day. And uh, until you such time as I see you again in Sudbury, folks, um, we'll be talking at you. Next uh, article you'll be looking at, I believe, will be about uh, what makes gin gin. And then I want to talk a little bit about, um, on my word blog, uh, I want to talk a little bit about how you should consume beer. So we'll be looking forward to talking to you about those things in the next few days. Take care and so long for now.